There was high anxiety today at a major Canadian airport when a security scare involving a fake bomb and a piece of luggage prevented a U.S. bound flight from taking off. It happened at Pearson International in Toronto, leaving the passengers on board a United Airlines plane stuck for hours. CTV's Peter Ackman on the device found in a suitcase at a suspect now in custody. We do apologize, ladies and gentlemen, but this is a major breach of security. And with that, 169 passengers on United Flight 547 bound for Chicago's O'Hare were grounded. For more than four hours in the plane and on the tarmac, while U.S. and Canadian border agents scrambled. Very, very exhausting, very tiring, very concerning and scared. What security screeners found was a mock IED or improvised explosive device in a passenger's briefcase during screening. But all along, passengers feared the bomb was still on board. I was initially a little bit disturbed because I thought that the suitcase was actually on the plane and they were searching for it. Despite confiscating the device, the plane full of people was still moved into isolation. The first thing is passenger safety. So that's why they got the aircraft, they brought it over to a secluded area so there was no threat to the terminal. When passengers finally deplaned, they were sent to another holding area for another two hours. Police announcing a 58-year-old American man, Joseph Galaska, had been arrested. He was a seat ahead of me. Luckily, a very normal person. The stewardess came up and basically said that uh, customs had flagged one of his bags. Terrorism experts say either it was a mistake, a joke gone terribly wrong, or part of a terror plot. It could some, uh, be a, a false run to test security. We, we've seen those on several occasions. News of the fake bomb quickly reaching Parliament Hill. Uh, we're going to a TC uh, uh, launch an inquiry into what happened. Uh, it's still not 100% clear. Also unclear on the details, the passengers stuck in limbo. We still don't know what's going on. Joseph Kalaska is now charged with mischief and expected to appear in court tomorrow. As for passengers, most were able to finally leave Toronto on late afternoon flights. Sandy. Peter, thank you.